Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the question is when water pollution is so very harmful that it can have so much of adverse effect on the living organisms. So what causes water pollution? So if we know the causes then we can think of controlling water pollution. So let us quickly look at the causes of water pollution. Waste water. Now what happens is uh, a lot of waste water which comes out from different sources. For example, waste water comes out from each of our houses which contain a lot of chemicals which might be toxic. Uh, it, it comes out of the drains which might contain the water, sewage water as well. So it can be from factories which contain a lot of harmful chemicals which are being discharged from the factories. So direct discharge of waste water cause pollution. So now if this waste water containing harmful chemicals is directly disposed of into a water body, so it is quite obvious that the water in that water body will get polluted. So that is one cause of water pollution. Sewage, as I said. So sewage is again the waste water which comes out from each of our homes. So proper disposal of sewage is extremely important. Now when I say proper disposal, what do I mean? That means proper treatment of sewage. Primary and secondary treatment of sewage is important so that whatever harmful substances are present in it, they can be converted into less toxic substances. So in fact, we have discussed about the primary and secondary treatment in sewage in detail in one of our previous lessons. So if you want to learn about it, you can refer that lesson. So for example, Flush toilets take sewage waste quickly and more hygienically when compared to uh, the traditional way of flushing, right? So that so these are small small things which can together bring about a change in water pollution because if sewage is disposed into water bodies untreated, it can cause severe water pollution because sewage actually has a lot of uh, toxic substances within it. Chemical wastes. Now, as I said, mostly these chemical wastes are, uh, they come out of the factories and the industries. So these chemical wastes can have highly toxic chemicals like polychlorinated biphenyls. This is one of the chemicals which cause severe water pollution, which is abbreviated as PCB. It is called polychlorinated biphenyl. So they are extremely harmful and they are often given out by various factories and industries. So they are highly toxic chemicals. Also, not only these, but uh, chemicals like lead or mercury or cadmium. Now, all these things also when disposed in water makes it extremely poisonous. So from where do we get all these? Lead, it might be present in petrol or diesel. Cadmium or mercury, these might be present in batteries. So that means there are different substances which could be source of any of these harmful substances. But if those substances are directly disposed into water bodies, there, there it is quite obvious that the water body will directly get polluted. Use of plastics. Now what happens to plastics? The plastics are non-biodegradable substances. So what do we mean by non-biodegradable. What does it mean? That means it cannot be degraded by living organisms. Degraded means broken down. So these cannot be broken down by the action of living organisms. Like how decomposition takes place. What happens? There are a set of living organisms like bacteria and fungi. They can break down the complex organic matter into simpler forms. But in this case, plastics cannot be broken down further. So that means if we are using a lot of plastics, there is nowhere where these plastics can go so they will just keep on accumulating in our environment and at the same time they can be extremely harmful for living organisms because if by mistake a small piece of a very tiny piece of plastic also is consumed by an organism like fish it can choke the fish and can directly kill it so that way not only fish but fishes or birds so plastic is something which is not edible so if by mistake it is taken in so it can kill that organism. Alien species. Now what do we mean by alien species? Alien means a species which comes from some outer world. So that is called alien species. 
Now, when I talk about water pollution, I am basically focusing into a particular water body. So, let us suppose if there is a foreign species, which foreign species in the sense, if it is, if there is a foreign organism which suddenly come inside or which gets introduced into a particular uh, water body, and due to the entry of this invasive species into the ecosystem, sometimes it happens that they run wild and they crowd out the usual plants and animals that live there. For example, let us say that there is a small pond where we have a lot of small fishes. Now suddenly, some three, four big fishes have been introduced into the same pond. Now what will happen? This big fish will start eating up the small fishes. Now the big fish is so big that it is capable of eating multiple fishes, multiple small fishes in a day. Now what will happen over a period of time? Gradually, the number of big fishes in that pond will increase and the number of small fishes will decrease. Now at the same time, what will happen now due to the introduction of a foreign species, maybe that foreign species might secrete certain chemicals or they might, they, their body processes might be such that they might give out something which can cause, which can contaminate the water of that place because it is actually spoiling the original organisms which were living there. So due to the introduction of alien species also, water can get polluted. Radioactive wastes. What are radioactive wastes? Uh, it, these are basically which comes out from radioactive materials. Now, radioactive wastes are always harmful if it is present in low concentration. So, low concentration of radioactive wastes can also cause diseases like cancer. So, you can, I mean, I hope all of you know how deadly disease cancer is. So even very, very low concentration of radioactive waste can cause cancer. Now, if it is present in high concentration, then it can actually kill that organism. So these kind of wastes are generally obtained from nuclear power plants. So it has to be taken care that all the wastes from nuclear power plants should not be directly disposed of into water bodies. They should be, now any type of wastes, whether it is your sewage waste or it is from some chemical factory or industries or uh, nuclear power plants, they should not be directly disposed of into the water bodies. They should first be treated just to check that whether very harmful substances are not present there and then there there has to be some technique by which more toxic substances can be converted into less toxic ones and only then they should be disposed of into the water body. So this is how we can at least control. So that's how we can control at least water pollution to some extent. However, we will now spend some time understanding the control of water pollution. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.